wireless attacks have become easy, even unskilled people with little computer literacy can accomplish them because of the many automated tools available to perform this hack. In many organizations, especially governmental ones, wireless technology is not allowed to be implemented. Securing this technology has proven to be, well, ineffective on many occasions. Yeah, but let's face it, we need this technology in our homes, our coffee shops, our universities, out on the street, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there will be attacks, and yes, there will be breaches, but there are ways to make it harder for the attacker to accomplish his or her goal. Mm -hmm. Now, this chapter won't focus on, on the weaknesses or how to protect your wireless networks, but rather it will show you how to gain access to a wireless network. Mm -hmm. Wireless attacks depend heavily on the wireless interface attached to the hacker's computer. Built-in wireless cards rarely work in this scenario. They're not designed to do this task. Right, but we will need an external interface with higher power. Mm -hmm. So far, Alpha cards are the best in the market, featuring excellent receiving sensitivity and high output power. Most access points or APs will broadcast to a range of right around 300 feet, uh, with no obstacles, of course. So you don't don't need to be really close to it, but if you are too far away, you will not be able to detect a good signal. Mm -hmm. Alpha cards make it easy for you with their high power and their range, and moreover, you can supply a bigger antenna to get a larger range. Now, this is an important point. Many wireless attacks depend on something we call de-authentication packets. Alpha cards can inject the target with numerous de-authentication packets in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. And finally, the attack machines must have the right driver for your external card. Mm -hmm. 